Hello, it's me, Gail Sam Possible. Me, Gail, my name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my third reaction to the Peter Serafinowicz show. If you didn't know when I did the first two reactions to this, the first one I did was in August of last year, and the second one was back in January. This is a hilariously underrated sketch comedy show, so if you're watching it with me for the first time today, uh, I think you're in for a real treat, because I greatly enjoyed the first two episodes. By the way, this show, for the rest of the year, I'm probably going to do probably around every other month, because there's only seven episodes total, and the last episode's actually a Christmas special. So I just got to get, uh, after this, four, five, and six done somewhere in between now and uh, the end of November, and then we can do the Christmas special come December. But we're going to do episode three today. Let's go ahead and watch it. He's really breaking it's it down. The Peter Serafinowicz show. Nice. All right, we're doing Star Wars. Ah, Lord Vader. Shall I commence the briefing, Admiral? We still await the arrival of Commander Larkin. The ship has been delayed in an asteroid field. So, really good, James Earl Jones. However, you may proceed, Lord Vader. As you wish. We intercepted a number of transmissions from the planet Tarvu. If our intelligence is correct, this could indicate the presence of a rebel base. We don't have much time. We uh. must destroy the... Ah, Commander Larkin. Please excuse my lateness. No matter. We've only just begun the briefing. Lord Vader, this is Commander Larkin. She will be overseeing the interrogation unit. I look forward to working with you, Lord Vader. Your... Beautiful. <laughs> Vader? What? What? Um, I mean, um, destroying the rebel base will be a beautiful victory. Quite, Lord Vader. Please continue. What? Um, <laughs> Vader? Uh, I'm fine. I just need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Out of my way! Sorry, sir. <sighs> Why did I have to say I was going to the toilet? No one says that out loud. No, Come yeah. on, Vader, pull yourself together. She's just a woman. You work with women all the time. What? Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. I thought this was the ladies. I'm sorry, I confused the symbol with my cloak. It looks <laughs> like a dress from behind. I'll leave you to it. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. It does, yeah. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it stinks in here. Oh, Vader. Okay, let's see. Meats, meats. Oh, here's the ham. Oh, what about this brand? It's half the price of that brand. Hmm, internet ham. What's internet that? ham. It's the new way to buy ham. This is just a card. Where's the actual ham? Our yeah. ham is produced totally online, so we can pass the savings on to you. Just scratch off the panel to get your ham ID, then enter it onto our website, and your ham is emailed to you almost instantly. Hey! You'll soon grow to love the weird taste of internet ham from Sinister. I can get down for. Oh news! Oh no! Hi, I'm Kennedy St. King, and the time is O oh, News O'Clock. You're watching O oh, News. Dalai Lama. <laughs> Last time we asked you, whatever happened to 80s pop star Gary Newman? The answer yeah. is, he became Gary Oldman. Ha ha! Got him. Anthony Hopkins fears for his life as Hannibal Lecter is released from prison. I'm very surprised as I always thought he was a fictional character. Cake <laughs> Hospital causes outrage with its most controversial storyline yet. Daniels, take a look at this. What is it? Oh my god. We better call forensics. 
I Bro, I'm seeing a lot of Matt Berry recently. Huh. Oh, news. First up, though, people like to be moved at the movies. But at Hollywood's latest big premiere, the stars were moved in a different way. The movie that's got these stars shaken up is the newest masterpiece from art house director David Lynch. The oh, movie no. is a carefully calculated assault of surrealistic imagery designed to provoke the condition of diarrhea. <laughs> oh. So will it make a big splash or will it just be another plop in the ocean? I've seen a lot of movies. Some made me cry, some made me laugh. I've never seen one that made me do this. I enjoyed it. <laughs> However, I would not recommend it as a date movie. I thought it was ludicrous, preposterous, uh, a, a ridiculous movie, and in very poor taste. And by the way, this movie did not give me diarrhea. If anything, I feel constipated. Rhyming psychologist Helen Ballen gave us her take. In the words of Sigmund Freud, this movie you must avoid. And the movie <laughs> even won over its staunchest critic. Oh boy. Oh dear. Uh, where's the bathroom? Show me where the bathroom is. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> In the words of Sigmund <laughs> Freud, this movie you must avoid. Paper. I'll see you next time on O News. That's bars. <laughs> Like me, are you always after those high-end fashions but can't afford them? Yes. Hi, I'm Lola Lala. Well, Lola recently, Lala. I met someone who had the answer. Please welcome Nancy Cholesterols. Hi, Lola. Hi, Mom. I love what you've done with your outfit. Thank it, you. It is so sparkly. Well, anybody that knows me knows that I love to sparkle. <laughs> well, you've certainly succeeded. Thank you. You look like Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> so tell us, how did you do it? Well, let me introduce you to my new best friend, Gem Mania. Do you remember how hard it used to be to put gems on your clothes? Yes. <laughs> Boy, do I. <laughs> well, those days are uh. over. Look at what we did to this shirt. Whoa. Relax. I guess we all like to relax. Well, I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> so it only works on shirts? Good question, Lola. The beauty of Gem Mania is that it works on absolutely anything. Anything? <laughs> You can jazz up that watches, everything. DVDs, tarot cards, food, birth and death certificates, gardening gloves, comfort tissue, nails, nails, snails. Now, this is the dress my mom died in. Just looking at it makes me feel sad. Bruh. Is there anything you can do with it? <laughs> Leave it to Gem Mania. Rest in prettiness. <laughs> <laughs> With Gem Mania, the possibilities are endless. Jesus. You can use it on corners, wedding photos, fruit bowls, elbows, anonymous letters, hand scrubs, cigarettes, retirement gifts, kitchen utensils, household fancies, toast, tea. What about all those hard to reach places? I'm glad you asked. Well, if you buy Gem Mania right now, I'll also give you the new Gem Mania Mini. Oh, God. Wow. If you take a look here, you can see that I've already started putting rhinestones onto this hair. That is amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> now we can all have hair like the movie stars. Oh, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's run through that deal again. For just $29.99, you get the Gem Mania and the Gem Mania Mini. But wait, order now and we'll throw in another Gem Mania for free. Ah! That's two Gem Manias for just $29.99. Plus and shipping and handling. stop there. If you purchase now, we won't just send you two Gem Manias, we'll send you four. Whoa! And that's not all. On all orders over twenty pounds, we'll give you not four, but eight gem manias. Good God! Eight gem manias not enough? Well, no. No worries, because we'll throw in infinite ah! gem manias. So if you'd like to have fun too, then order gem mania now. Time to make those eyes sparkle. Oh God! <laughs> Come on, Larkin. Are you crying? Oh, Lord Vader, that prisoner in there. I've been torturing him, but I can't get him to talk, no matter what tactic I use. I feel like such a failure. Allow me to be of assistance. I haven't tortured anybody for a long time. Oh, you're so kind. My pleasure. Oh, you're back. And I see you've brought a friend. Silence! <laughs> oh, hey! I come down there, and I can show you properly. No. Squeeze your hands. Is that Ben Leguan? You smell nice. Oh, thank you. 
Where is the rebel base? The base is on Yavin 3. Now kill him. No, wait, 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 wait. Do it! Excellent. Thank you for your help, Lord Vader. My pleasure. Um, listen, I'm having some drinks later on. Oh, really? It's my 60th. Shall I see you there? It would be an honor, Lord Vader. Nice. Why then? Oh, why did I tell her how old I am? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Yeah. Oof. Oh, no. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. Greetings. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Now tell me, how did you become the proud owner of a letter written by Alfred Lord Tennyson? Um, it was actually left to me by my grandmother. Splendid, splendid. Now, we can see the date here, March 20th, 1876, making this letter 131 years old. I must say, you've kept it in remarkable condition. Yes, I keep it in a, um, an airtight container away from the sunshine. You've done a splendid job of preserving it, I must say. Um, would you mind if I...? Oh, no, of course not. Mmm. Ah, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. You know, letters this old have a tendency to be bland and tasteless, but this one tastes as, as though it was written yesterday. Oh, that's great. I'm very pleased. May I say, it, it, it is an honour for me because this is truly a piece of history that you've brought along today. And you ate it, bro. So, thank you. I don't think she realises that all the money I have, I give her. Do you know what I mean? Me? No, what do you mean? Sometimes, you know, it just, it just winds me up, you know, and I, I know, I know I'm a terrible mother. Oh, Sorry. I am sure you are not a terrible mother, Cheryl. It's just that, you know, I just want her to be happy, do you know what I mean? And sometimes she just, she just gets right in my gob. And I know, it's my fault I spoiled... Oh, what are you doing? Me oh, know what you ah. mean. Me know what you mean. You're, you're breaking my name. Me know what you mean. Me what you mean. Me know what you mean. Oh, oh, it's dysfunctioning oh, again. Take out oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. Happy birthday, Lord Vader. This really is a lovely party. Thank you. Please Hats. call me Darth. And you must call me Ada. Hmm. You know, I've just been thinking. If we were married, your name would be Ada Vader. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you are funny. Am I? Here, I have something for you. Oh. And I've got the receipt, so if you don't like it, you can always exchange it. Happy birthday. Oh. Helmet wax. <laughs> How did you know? I've been running low. Yeah. I like this brand. Thank you, Ada. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> you know, Ada, I think you're just lovely. Oh, Darth. They could have You've weird been absolutely sex. absolutely wonderful to me since I arrived. If it hadn't been for you and Chris, I really don't know what I'd have done. Who's Chris? My boyfriend. Oof! Of course, you haven't met. He's here. Chris? Oh, hi. Chris? Lord Vader? Lord Vader? Chris? Oh, I know who you are. So, finally get to meet the boss. <laughs> Would anyone like a drink? Uh, yeah, I'll have one. Maybe not. Yes, uh, I'm in technical support. Uh, these spaceships would grind to a halt if it wasn't for people like me. Those space map holograms, they don't just happen, you know. We've had terrible trouble with the software. I'll tell them. Shut up. Uh, 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 
Darling, Vader, are you okay? What's the matter? Chris, what is it? I think an olive went down the wrong way. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Happy birthday, Vader. Everyone on the Death Star signed it. Blow out the cat. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday. Damn. Cock blocked again. Which hand? So, David. <laughs> Which hand does it turn? Oh my Come god. On. I'm gonna go for the left, please. Damn it! David, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an architect. An architect? And how long did you study to become an architect? Uh, seven years. Seven years studying architecture, and they didn't teach you how to tell which hand <laughs> it is in? Well, David, you are the weakest at telling which hand it is in. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Would you like to have a live one-on-one -on -one chat with a caveman? Yes. Our gorgeous cavemen are waiting for your call. <laughs> Dial 09098-798-790 Straight and gay cavemen available. 98 99 pebbles a minute. Call caveman chat and get primitive. <laughs> a guide to modern life. Oh no. Let's have an orgy. What? Ever had an orgy? No! Having an orgy is a great way to meet new people, have some fun, and let off some steam after a busy week. But an orgy doesn't just happen, it requires careful thought and planning. True. Collect an orgy Not form from your post office and fill it out with your name, date, Jesus. and location of your orgy. You'll nice. also need to give them some idea of what you'll all be getting up to. Tick the positions you'll be attempting at your orgy. <laughs> be truthful. Failure to declare any positions could result in a five pound fine. Now you've completed your form, you'll be invited to present your proposal in person to your local orgy board. Oh, cheeky. If all goes well, you'll receive your orgy permit within 28 days. Take your orgy permit and stick it clearly outside your house. This is sure to arouse the neighbor's interest. Hello. Hmm, not bad. You should invite a priest to bless the orgy. And also invite a doctor along. Not for health reasons, but because women love a doctor. In some parts, it's traditional to invite a chimney sweep who tickles the ladies' bottoms with his filthy brush. How about hiring someone to let off stink bombs? No. Mr. Stinky's the best in the business. Don't do that. Time for your orgy checklist. Magazines, nuts and nibbles, camping equipment, bread and fillings, tissue, and bleach. Well, it's the big day. Are you all prepared? Have you both had a bath? And a shower? Have you both been to the toilet? Have you? Good. <laughs> well, now you've done everything you need to do. All that's left for you is to get changed and wait for your guests to arrive. Oh, Lord. They're here, and they're bang on time. There's Jean, her husband, Jemmy. There's Ulrich. And Pam. She's looking nice. Anyone else? Oh, well, have fun. Or should I say, have bum. <laughs> Since the dawn of time, man has sought to harness the ancient power of the primal elements. Fire, water, gravy. Oh. Throughout history, ancient <laughs> civilizations have made mysterious and powerful gravies, and now their secrets can be yours. Whoa. Week by week, Gravies of the Ancients magazine unlocks millennia of forbidden knowledge, building into the greatest gravy library the world has ever seen. Solve the ancient Egyptian riddle of the gravy. Taste the timeless and delicious lost gravies of the Incas. And unleash the dark magic of the Norse gravy longboats, 
forged by the hammer of Thor and thick with mysterious onions. Plug your dinner into the mysterious energies of the mightiest sources in history with Gravies of the Ancients magazine. Only 75 billion pounds. You know, never really been a gravy guy, I gotta be honest. Oh no. I love James Bond. Bloody <laughs> Bond. I bloody love him. Do you Rego? And um, when they asked me did I want to write the theme tune for the new Bond movie, well, I jumped at the chance. <laughs> well, I've heard that it's gold. I've heard that it's a finger. Hey, don't shoot me. I'm just a bloody singer. Some folks like a bronze. Oh, my God, I really wish this was a real thing. But this man loves his gold. It is his favorite finger. Gold finger. <laughs> So accurate. I never used it. Said it was too modern. And also, because it had taken me seven years to write it, the film had come and gone. Damn. Well, what a jolly teapot. He's not going to eat that. There's no way. Tell me about it. I was hoping maybe you'd be able to tell me something about it. Well, at first glance, it looks like 1920s Art Deco piece from the Royal Windsor factory. Okay. However, if I just lift it up to examine it further, um, would you mind if I... No, 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 please go ahead. Oh! Oh! No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but that's absolutely disgusting. It's a reproduction, I'm afraid. Ah, ah. Oh, that's horrible. Yuck. Yuck a bucka. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, <laughs> but thank you for coming in anyway. Yuck. <laughs> well, I've had a marvelous day here at Hawksley House in Windsor. Have uh, you? Yeah. I've eaten everything from a collection of ivory thimbles to a fully functional Victorian grandfather clock. You're gonna die, bro. Pardon me. <laughs> Until next time, bon appetit. Uh. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hello, who is this? Look, I'm hanging up. Let it go, I'm Vader. Such an idiot. Poor Vader. That Ann Whitcomb impersonation might be his best one yet. Like, that was really fucking good. That might have been his best one yet. Um, Jesus. Well, I don't, to, to be perfectly honest, I did like the episode. Out of the ones I've watched, probably the weakest of the three so far. Um, I still enjoyed it, but if I had to rank them, probably the weakest of the three. Um, the Darth Vader storyline was fun. feel bad for old Lord, Lord Vader. I mean, guys had it rough, but then again, you know, did kill multiple people, so there's that too, but, you know, never want a man to get cock blocked. <laughs> Jesus, imagine getting cocked by, by a basement worker when you're fucking Darth Vader. <laughs> Jesus, well, that was another episode of the Peter Serafinowicz Show. Again, you'll see this maybe every other month, um going forward this year uh on the channel i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching if you liked it be sure to like it if you didn't like it don't if you want to follow any of my social media links my twitter i stream every single day my second channel for recent reviews my twitter if you want to follow me on my patreon you will see me on my daily motion all those things are in the description down below thank you to all those currently recording uh about 112 of my patrons so you can't support me on my channel for those who don't know you can be patreon on me for as little one dollar or one pound in exit direction videos as well as the reading comments up to a day early and hit your name in the description as well also in the description is linked to the community right as well as, the, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch Files channel, all that being said, though. My name is Taffrey Steens, my third reaction to Peter Serafinowicz Show, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.